In today's video, I want to show you how to properly cut cauliflower into pieces so you can get the most out of your produce. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Laura, often referred to as the internet mom that will teach you how to cook for yourself and your family with fresh and simple recipes. You'll also learn a great tip on what to do with the cauliflower core so nothing goes to waste. The first thing that we want to do to the cauliflower is remove the outer leaves. You won't be needing those. If you didn't wash your cauliflower before, now is the time to run it under some water and gently give it a wash. With a clean kitchen towel, just pat dry it and you're good to go. Now with a large kitchen knife, you're going to slice off the end. I found that the easiest way to do this is to first slice it in half and then once again into quarters. Now before I continue, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below. It lets me know that I should continue to make this type of videos on my channel. Next, all you have to do is carefully slice off the core and now you're left with a large piece you can easily separate into florets. From here, you'll simply place the pieces that are the size that you want into the bowl. Otherwise, slice the larger florets into smaller pieces. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're roasting the cauliflower florets or even adding them into a stir fry, you'll want to cut them into even sized pieces so they all cook as evenly as possible. From here, simply repeat with the rest of the cauliflower until all you have left is the discarded core. Now, if you're wondering, do you cook the core too? Most people do not because the texture is a lot tougher than the florets and it will take longer to cook. I did tell you that I'd share a terrific tip with you, right? Well, don't throw away these cores just yet. You can dice them into smaller pieces, place them in a zip bag and freeze them. They are great to throw in your smoothies frozen to add fiber, vitamin C, K, folate, as well as make your smoothies thicker. Below this video, you're gonna find some recipes for you to use the cauliflower pieces that you just made, my favorite veggie seasoning and more. If you click that red subscribe button, you and I get to cook together a few times a week. See you next time.